this is not going to combat the jumping around, it's just too severe. Jumps. Well, your body does jump. Oh, Alright, but it does jump. <laughs> Worse. I, yes. I can't control the jumping. Keep turning it. Yeah, but you can turn it back. Can't get the shape. Top of the cooler bar too. Hmm. Not even anyone going to worry about it's not angle parking. Well, this is day seven of the recording of the making of an European. We're here at Bent's Basin, which is not that far out of town, but we are at the foot of the mountains. We'll proceed to the rock after this, and maybe if we've got time, we'll we'll do a little bit uh, a little bit more further towards Penrith. So stay with us and see what we uh, do and see here at Bent's Basin. That sound alright? Yep. Yes, the intro sounds good. And never having been here before, I'm really excited to see the basin. I'm Jeff. And I'm Graham. I've had the opportunity to visit this interesting site over the years, and its transformation to a state park has been amazing. Okay then, let's get started. Okay, let's, uh, we want to go that way, so I don't know whether you can walk down there. Crikey. It's higher than you think. <laughs> Aerial shot. First up, I spotted a small bridge that I've never seen before.
saying that when you come in the other way, up there. Yep. Having travelled this far, the Nepean River comes over these rapids into Bent's Basin. Through Bent's Basin, through this giant sinkhole, in from the south, it's heading north, then it leaves here through this little channel off to the east. With that over with, we headed for the path to the Cascades that are upstream. The developed picnic area must be a delight to families enjoying their day here, but our walk would take us through a less cultured environment. Daily bag limit. 30 centimetre of southern short fin eels. You only allowed 10 of them. <laughs> I don't think we'll be collecting any today. I was happy to see a consistent flow of water, considering our state has not received ample rainfall in the last few years. Graham, you have to remember there are two major water removal points complementing Sydney's consumption and many pumping stations run by independent farmers as well. Next stop, The Rock. This is another obscure location not many people are aware of. It's situated at the end of a bumpy one and a half kilometre dirt road. And here we are with the rock. Mm. Well, McConnor. I never get tired of filming Australia's bushland, so with camera in hand, off I go. You want to get a, a wide shot of that, so you can read it? Just a static shot. I don't think I got the whole thing in, so... Can you get... So it takes up full screen. Just a static shot there. 10, 6, 10 seconds or so. Might be able to read it, I don't know. Okay, come on. like the way down. If our viewers want to venture here, it isn't a long walk to the rock and the steps cut into the stone are easily negotiated. The path is well trodden after the first descent.
as you can see, the rock has its own handrail and perfectly cut steps. Here we see the beginning of an 18 kilometre expanse of water that is held back by the Penrith Weir. This is the longest section of the Nepean that watercraft, like the Nepean Bell Paddle Wheeler, can negotiate, as seen here. Well, that's it for this day's shoot. We hope you found it informative. To be notified when we upload day 8, press the subscribe button and bash the like button if you did. Bye for now.